today I really wanted to talk to you about that it's okay to not be okay. We don't have to put on this big facade all the time to be like, everything is fucking fabulous. You know, it's like, I don't know, I was just going through a lot of my DMs on my Instagram and it seems like a lot of you are going through a really tough time. Well, if we look at externally what's going on in the world, you're like, holy shit, it's a shit storm. <laughs> and I think that there's so much pain, so much beauty in the pain in which you're going through and that everything is literally a blessing in disguise. If something isn't working out, kind of like feel the emotions and just sit with it. You don't have to like try and put it in a box. It's like, okay, feel it, feel the anger, wherever you are on the emotional guidance scale, just feel it and be like, okay, in this pain or in this discomfort that I am feeling, it's just temporary. I need to feel the emotion, which is energy in motion, feeling the emotion as you're going through your day or whatever's triggering you or what crazy stuff is happening in your world, wherever you are. Um, there has been, I don't know, I kind of feeling some blocks right now with YouTube. That's why I didn't have a video last week. I had literally scheduled two different times on two different days to schedule a video. It didn't happen. And I really um, beat myself up around it because I know how important it is for me to show up consistently and to tell you what's going on. But like with me right now, most of my focus is going into my coaching program. I'm literally, what are we into? Week three now of the eight week program. And my whole program has had a complete revamp because um, I've had so much feedback from past clients of how I can improve it, how can I make it better, what things can I add, what can I take away. And I feel like as I'm going through this program that I've remade the whole eight week program. Well, not remade. I've improved. It's so friggin' good. <laughs> I'm really proud to say that. And I feel like because that's taken up all my time and my energy, and that's where my heart has been. That's like, you know, people invest thousands of dollars into this program, you know, and I want to give them the best possible. I just want to, I want to make sure that they have the best time and they get exactly what they need from this program. I know that I'm not the person who's going to give them the transformation. I just show them the strategies, the tools, help guide them, like literally hold their hand through each step of the way, especially <laughs> when I rustle feathers and they're thinking about stuff that they've suppressed for decades. You know, um, what was I talking about? my clients. Oh yeah, that's where a lot of my energy has gone. And I kind of feel like that most of my energy has gone to that. I've kind of neglected my YouTube channel. But at the same time on my computer, I have 22 video ideas ready to go, but I don't feel drawn or have the inspiration to film them. And I'm like, okay, today is Friday, which is what? The 7th of February. And I had planned today to film for the next month's worth of content. Plan everything on one day. I just love batch filming. That way I do hair and makeup just once. <laughs> and I can, I don't know. I just find it so much easier to just stay laser focused and saying half-assing this and half-assing that. I'm like, no, this is the day. I just change all my outfits and you would never know. <laughs> so, that's kind of how I've been feeling and I kind of felt that as I was going through my direct messages this morning that a lot of you are feeling that way too. And I want to let you know, it's okay. You don't have to have everything friggin' figured out. Like we don't have to have it figured out. We don't have to, I kind of feel like we're conditioned for like the instantaneous results, but it's all about enjoying the journey, the destination. It's going to come and you'll be like, okay, next, what else can I manifest to up level? And I feel like whatever it is that you're struggling with or whatever is causing you pain, whatever is triggering you, whoever is triggering you, who you're allowing to trigger you. Oh my gosh. I don't know. There's a lot in that. I just want to let you know that you are enough, that you are fabulous. You are wonderful and it's okay to not be okay. So I just wanted to leave you with that because I kind of feel like some of you need that little encouragement. So let me pull some cards for you and see what <laughs> the wisdom from our beautiful angels, um, I don't know, can help guide us today. Let's see what we need to know. Okay, angels, what do my MKL fam need to know about? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. 
the tower card that's so interesting so the tower card is rebuilding okay so you're going through a process of transition which we have been wanting from last year and we have been clearing out the blocks from last year but now you're kind of like either in the depths of the trenches or you're rebuilding but you haven't made it a home oh that's so interesting <laughs> ah now i understand um as you know, my husband and I moved into our house probably about a month and a bit ago. And we just, um, we're trying to figure out what did we want for this house? We bought a couch and now we're like, no, this isn't the couch because the couch isn't big enough to snuggle on. <laughs> and Peter is bloody tall. So, and the couch wasn't wide enough. And it's just like the house is a house and we're slowly making it feel like a home. Like I freaking love my office. Like these wall decals that I, there's like 120 wall decals that I popped on my wall. Oh my God, from the most fabulous freaking company. I think she's from the lovely Wall Co. I don't know, I'll have, I'll have to try and find her website. She, freaking amazing. And she prints these stickers to go so they don't just sit around in the warehouse. Um, I don't know. I, I just think she's amazing and I love the wall tapestry behind me, this beautiful moon tarot tapestry. If you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly what. But it's the process of like, okay, you have the shell, like take for instance, we'll talk about my home. <laughs> you have the house, right? And you're in the process of making it a home, but it doesn't feel like a home just yet. And either you're getting frustrated and you're like, but I want it to be a home right now. But it's like, okay, you, it's like, Okay, so I just heard the song Waiting on the World to Change from John Mayer. Because we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. It's like you're waiting for something to change, but you're the person that has to step up. You have to make yourself a priority, whatever it looks like for you. Feel the emotion, the energy and motion as you're going through everything and knowing that it's going to get better. It's like seeing the tower. Oh, I've lost the card now. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. It's like, it's like knowing that the, that the foundation wasn't strong enough and that you had to rebuild. It's kind of like my YouTube channel where I had a set segment and it was weekly angel guidance. And now I've kind of transitioned into talking more about childhood trauma and relationships and how that if you connect the dots looking back, the reason why you're having the issues that you're having right now in your relationships is a direct reflection as we trail all the way back to the house in which you were raised as a child. So it's like either you're rebuilding the childhood foundation, either you're rebuilding your current foundation, work, career, your home, your relationships, whatever it is, we're going through a massive shift and it's okay to not be okay. We don't have to be bright and bubbly all the flipping time. You know, like that's not real life. That's why I don't film videos every single week. I film them when I'm feeling good and that's when I post them. Same with my Instagram stories too. I, I film those segments, not all the time. I have some segments ready to go when I'm not feeling good and I don't want to talk to you, but I want to have something to give you some inspo for the day. So take that with you. In the comment section below, I would love for you to share with everyone what it is that you're going through and what do you feel that's been weighing heavy on your chest because our beautiful MK Love fam, you guys watching right now, are fabulous in every possible way. We're all around the globe. We are all connected. Every time we join forces and either watch the live chat, comment together, you know, we're supporting one another. So have a look at the comment section below. Write down what are you struggling with right now and knowing and saying the affirmation, it's okay to not be okay. It's like, I'm so happy and grateful now that it's okay to not be okay. Comment that down below. I am so happy and grateful now that it's okay to not be okay. Whatever you're going through, it's temporary. All the, all the delicious goodness that you want is coming. Stay patient, feel the energy in motion as you're going through. Have an amazing day wherever around the world and I'll see you next week. Boom, hopefully. <laughs> see how I'm feeling, bye.